These text boxes are EVP captions from EVPs that I hear later while editing. If you want to hear them, I suggest wearing headphones. Are you guys doing any damage to me? Are you guys sucking my power? Are you taking advantage of me? Yes. Okay, so I'm in a bed and breakfast. This was kind of a good deal in an area where there weren't any places to stay, so I'll take it. It's no Hilton. I'm spoiled. I am in the historic Gooding Hotel bed and breakfast. Somewhere I saw on the internet, I mean in a cursory search, I saw that this place was haunted. And I mentioned something about that to the woman that checked me in and she said, no, it's not haunted. But she gave me a tour and while I was touring, I heard a voice in my head with a very gay, very gay voice saying, Hi, Brett, or something along that, those lines. So hopefully I got it on, on audio. But that's it for the spirit activity that I've noticed. I hope this place is haunted. I hope that dude shows up again. Because... Yeah, I think he is here already. It's fun. It's like, what do you want to ask? What do you want to know? Touching. Can we set this up for later when I get back? And then I'll do multiple cameras and we'll do it. I'll do it soon, okay? Soon. All right. a guy that's 65 70 and he looks like he looks like a it's a white guy no hair well maybe he has hair on the sides that it's really long very gaunt face actually the the hair on the sides I'm not sure very gaunt very white face black circle eyes uh, older, he f he feels like a character that I've seen on in movies. Like he might be in the Adams family, although I can't picture who he would be, or the monsters. No, not the monsters, not the Adams family. But I I'm replacing him with the person I'm seeing in the movie. So I'm confusing it by overthinking it, as demonstrated in, in my explaining it, overthinking it. All right. So right now I'm trying to kind of ground, ground down. I'm actually kind of grounding into the floor and we're in a second, second story. So this is a little different for me but I feel like I'm grounding into the floor, like roots extending into the floor. I'm seeing an ambulance. This is a history of the hotel, an ambulance coming. I 
I believe somebody died here. I'm not sure. Not sure where exactly. Or like what room? I'm not sure what room. I feel like if I extend that way, I feel like I'm picking up on other guests, like looking at uh, magazines or pamphlets or something, trying to figure out what what they're doing or reviewing something they did. This stuff is all, uh, this all seems psychic to me. Seems like I'm not extending out or giving space for other spirits. Hearing that we're here, it's a familiar kind of voice, a very small voice. I'm trying to give them energy, but it appears that I'm giving like a package and like pushing a package or pushing something into, into somebody's hands. It's almost like a bundle of towels or something doesn't I'm not trying to do that that's just what I'm seeing and somebody's like putting whatever it is down and spitting on the floor is that me or is, am I picking that up please speak into the microphone forgot to do my thing I'm Brett I'm a psychic medium I film and record my interactions with you folks on the other side and if you are unsure about being filmed or being heard on audio or interacting with me at all please talk to my guides twinge little twinge little something in my foot i can feel a lot of things it takes me a while to get tuned in to where i'm picking you guys up Okay, now I'm seeing an ambulance, but now I'm seeing a hearse. Who is this? Is this somebody associated with the hotel? Please don't use names. I'm not supposed to use names. Instead, describe what you are or what your relationship. Uncle, Uncle D, okay. Um, and how, you, how were you associated with either this place or me or this area? Saying, please don't use your name. Hearing uncle, uncle, uncle D, uncle D, uncle D. Uh, it's either I see going up and down, up and down, like, um, and I see a pole, so it's either a fireman pole or a, or it could even be a, um, one of those, a pogo stick. I feel like they're saying I wish. Up and down, up and down. And I'm seeing a, it's like car dealership or Chevy. Chevy, something to do with, with cars. I should check these and make sure they're recording because they stop when I get to be on a roll. Stop this and start this again. Just to make sure I've got something going at all times. Let's make sure this is going. <laughs> stop this and start this again too. Let's try to refocus, get back to it. Do me, do me, do me, okay? Who are you? I hear a train. I'm seeing a child. I'm seeing a hat. I'm hearing a train. Okay, somebody's touching my back. Okay, 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 okay. Who 
who's this gay guy? Where did this gay guy come from? Because he was the first person to say anything. I'm not going to forget you, kid. How old are you, kid? Seven. He's, okay, kid from the 50s, seven years old. Seems like 50s, 50s. Seven years old, what happened? Train? It's weird because sometimes they will do things or appear or like emphasize something to make a point. So I'll be sitting here and I'll look over and I'll see like, oh, clothes hangers. And that'll be a whole, whole thing I go into because somebody directed my attention to clothes hangers. I wouldn't have noticed them at all, but they show up. So I'm wondering if that's what happened with the train. Was this kid hit by a train in the 70s, 50s, in the 50s, seven years old, 50s, hit by a train. Seems east of this location, I think. Yeah, yeah, east of this location. I was outside and saw the sunset Ooh. east of this location. Yeah, east of this location. Okay, a gay guy showing up again. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras beads. What does that mean? I went to Mardi Gras. I love Mardi Gras. Cool. I've never been to Mardi Gras. All right. So what are you doing here? I love touring or I love touring with you. And going to different hotels. And I got chills. And touching on the side of my head. Interesting. How many of you are following me? Or going from place to place? Somebody said we all are. I saw some movement right there. Can you knock on something? Nobody ever knocks on anything for me. Somebody did the other night. But that was after I already went to bed and I've been having trouble sleeping, so I didn't want to wake up and start filming. <laughs> it's, it's too far into the trip. First couple nights, I'll totally wake up in the middle of the night and record and record and record. By now I'm beat. I'm tired. <laughs> My tires are already, already getting bald which are a deciding factor on whether or not I should head towards home. If you guys want me to continue on my trip, you need to make it so I can get new tires easily. And you guys have to do that in some sort of really cool, really cool way. And we'll put it on the show. It'll be, it'll be good. Make an episode. You guys get all the credit. Lots of twinges, lots of little, little touches over there. Okay, so is this place haunted? I'm hearing not really and not something something. <laughs> when you're here, it, it's haunted. Thank you. I haunt. Um. I'm, I'm seeing, like I'm seeing wings behind me, but not these wings. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means. I sometimes do see angels, but I, this is not how I see angels, usually. I do see angels with wings, though. Oh. At the Tabernacle Choir, uh, during the rehearsal part, I did see angels above 
and they held a banner between two of them. I saw them like flying around above inside the hall. Twinge. And they were holding a banner and I'm not sure what the banner said. I couldn't, I couldn't read it. I couldn't see it, but I feel like it said something like praise God. Uh, I just saw them for a little while and then I didn't see them anymore. That was in the convention center. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty amazing concert. They are outstanding. All for free. Okay, so why are you here, kid, kiddo? Hmm. Something about his mommy? I'm getting that right. I'm paranoid about you guys turning off cameras and messing with audio and stuff. But everything seems to be fine. I should check this one and see if anything's happening. I mean, it'll either be working or it won't, won't be working. Oh, it's working. So, what are the secrets of this place? Somebody said I'm gay. And who are you? I can't keep track of who's who. Because I'm not hearing the voices very strong. Who's married? Okay. Uh, did any deaths occur? They're saying, yeah, you know that one. I'm feeling pain in the top of my head. Somebody's touching my elbow. I've seen a kid. I've seen two, two males. I think two males. Are there any women here? Yes and no. I need clear answers. All right, let's get you guys to move on, move up. Okay, I'm getting a sense that they don't want to, they want to hang out with me and go on my trip. Okay, at the end of the trip, will you guys go? Somebody said agreed. Are you guys doing any damage to me? Are you guys sucking my power? Are you taking advantage of me? Yes. How? Uh, I feel like they're clouding my my senses a little bit. I don't know if this was me thinking this or somebody else thinking this, but they're like, it's like seeing through gauze. So I'd be having a way better time or worse time, more intense time, if I didn't have all these folks hanging out on me because everything would be extreme. All right, well, let's check with my guides and see what's what's up and what's appropriate and how to do this without harming me and with giving me the energy and the emotions and senses that I would like. Part of it is I think there might be too many, too many of you guys around. And so it's hard for me to connect with anybody 
or to see clearly. That's what somebody's been telling me. That's what they just said. So let's get that sorted out. If anybody needs help, please talk to my guides. Please follow their instructions. Saw movement over there. Movement over there, lots of movement. And when I say movement, it's like um, shadows or something moving past or, or like orbs, I guess, but it's not, I'm not seeing it as a ball. I'm seeing just this shimmer or something and it can be a shadow shimmer or it can be white or it can be color. Mostly it's white or white or shadow. And it moves past and I'll see it for three feet, three feet of movement, sometimes less. I've seen ribbons, like ribbons hanging in the air or moving past. I've seen things dart across, something just darted across like that. I call those zips. So that was a little black zip right over this camera. So please be kind to me, be kind to each other, listen to my guides, and I'm always for everybody going up. Go up. Get the help you need, get any assistance. You'll be able to meet up with the people you miss, all of that stuff going up. Somebody's saying to say that God loves you. And I believe it. I've, I've never told you guys about me getting to see somebody cross over to, into heaven. I saw them go into the white light, going, going into the white light tunnel. I'm being told that that's enough. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Anyway, I was crying and laughing and couldn't contain myself for hours and hours after that. Like the, the amount of joy and everything I saw, I mean, the, the the love and joy was overwhelming, like truly overwhelming. I couldn't, my physical body could not handle it. And my, like, my emotional, any of me, I couldn't handle it. It was super loving. All right, so I'm supposed to stop talking about that right now. I call it angel business. And I'm in the angel room of this B and B, so ta-da. Alright. I'm gonna need to stop. And I guess I will be talking to you guys later. Probably tomorrow. Where are we going tomorrow? Where are we going? Somebody say in Alaska. You guys need to get me those tires. It has to be like on the way, just, it has to be like big, like checkered flag or some, some sort of symbol right there that says, oh, just go get these tires, problem solved. And then I'll stay out another week or so. Right now I have to start heading towards home from Idaho. You guys tell me, tell me, you guys help me, okay? All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you for speaking with me. Do you have anything else to say? I love you too. Really, good night. Don't shut off.